All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another elevator part video. And today we are going to be working on this old Otis black button fixture. So this is an older Otis fixture. So it has the older Otis contact on the inside. If we take a look at the outside here, we can see we have the plate, which is in fairly good condition, kind of dirty. So we can clean that up, fix that up. Buttons themselves have a lot of wear on them. You can see they've been worn down a lot. Both of the buttons look fairly similar. And we can press them down. You can hear the contacts activating on the inside. Looking at these two little arrows, you can see whatever was in there is no longer in there and so there's just a hole in the button which doesn't look too good we're gonna need to do something about that and also we have the box back here pretty deep box actually I mean look how uh, big that is it's pretty narrow very small box you can see there's some uh, corrosion and stuff going on around it but overall this is in fairly good condition for what it is so let's open it up and see how it looks on the inside after removing the two screws we can simply lift up on the plate and here is what the back of the plate looks like. It's pretty disgusting as well. You can also see where, where there used to be something in here that would cover up the little hole. So we're gonna have to make something for that. Here we have the actual buttons themselves. We'll, we'll take a closer look at the plate when we do some work on it. So here we have the inside of this fixture. So to get a better look at this, I think we're gonna pull all the guts out of this fixture. And that's pretty easy to do. You'll see here it's being held down with these two pins on either side. You simply just have to slide it to one side where you can then lift up on the metal piece and then slide it to the opposite side and kind of pull it out. Here's what the box looks like. It's very small, very narrow. You can see where the wires would go out to the controller. Here on the side we have the brackets which actually can be adjusted. So we're going to leave these where they are because the buttons press nicely and it can be really annoying to get them to line up. Pulling the guts out we can take a closer look at how these things work and there are a ton of wires on this thing. So before we take a look at a little bit closer how this is going to work, I'm going to pull off all of these wires because they're not really necessary right now. And it'll just make things a little bit cleaner and easier for us to look at. All right, went ahead and removed all of these wires. And you can see these are really old wires. I mean, look how old these things are. These are pretty awesome. So I'm going to hang on to all of these because they could be useful in another project. So now we can take a closer look at the guts. And they're pretty simple, actually. Starting over here with the contact part. See, we've got this little kind of U-shaped piece here. Over here we have one of the connectors, and over here we have the other one. See, the switch is broken right here, and when the button presses down on the top, it presses down this little arm, which connects these two together. You got the spring back here, and this little metal piece, which just kind of bends down. Here in the middle, we can see the two lamp sockets, one of them which is missing the lamp, and the other one which has the lamp in it, and this is really interesting. So if we just unscrew this little lamp here, we can see that the bulb itself is pretty interesting. So this is a 120 volt bulb, so unfortunately we won't be able to use this in this project, but it's still pretty cool to see what kind of lamps this already had. And over here we have the exact same contact as the up button. So these are pretty cool, and like I said, these are the older black button contacts, so the newer, the newer contacts are different than this but they have the same lamp sockets, I believe. So that's just something to note if you do plan on wiring a black button and your contacts might look a little different. That's the reason. So just taking a look at how dirty this thing is, if we give this uh, button a wipe here, you can see just how much gunk comes off of it. And I don't really think it's all that necessary to restore the inside, mainly because it's gonna be inside the fixture, but I do wanna work on the contacts and just make sure that they're nice and clean so that they work whenever we wire it all together. All right, so if we take a closer look at the little contacts here, you can see I've shined them up, taken all that gunk off, so now we will have a nice solid connection for when we put the buttons back on. So now we've taken a closer look at the fixture just to kind of see how it works. Let's go ahead and do some work on this fixture, restore it a little bit, clean it up, and wire it up. So first thing we're gonna start with is the plate. So first thing we need to do is take the buttons off because I want to clean up the plate, get the gunk off, just see if we can shine this thing up a little bit. So to take the buttons off, you're going to turn the button over and you'll see this little plastic piece here. If you turn it, you'll see it unscrews just like that. There's a little uh, washer down there. And then if you give it a little pull, the button cap comes out. So once you unscrew that, you'll see you can take the buttons out. And I don't think it's necessary to take out these parts. So it gives me access to right around here, which is the part that we really need to work on. So what I think I'm gonna do is clean this up here, try to get all this dirt off, shine the plate up a little bit. I don't think the back really needs anything to be done with it. So let's see how this plate looks when I'm finished. All right, so I went ahead and did the best that I could with this plate. There's a lot of damage on it. You can see there's a lot of uh, scratches, a lot of just 
just general wear, because I mean, this is a fairly old fixture, but it did shine up very nicely and it's much more shiny than it was. So what I'm gonna do now is put the buttons back in. There's not really a whole lot we can do with these buttons as they are pretty worn. So we'll just leave those as they are. I'm gonna wipe whatever this gunk is off the button and we'll put the buttons back in and then we'll work on these arrows. All right, so the buttons are back on. Now we need to do something about the arrows. If we take a look on the back here, you can see there's a little round spot where you can see something used to go and used to sit in there. So what I decided to do, I started off with some of this plexiglass stuff here. It's a little uh, clear plastic. And from this, I cut out two round-ish <laughs> pieces. And then I sanded them down to kind of frost them up a little bit. So my thought is, is we can place these in here. They kind of lock in there on their own, which is really useful. And look on the front now. I mean, that looks a whole lot better. Let's go ahead and put it on the box and see what it looks like. Yeah, that definitely looks a lot better than what we had. And it's nice and flat there too. It doesn't stick up into the piece here, but it is nice and flush with the button. And it looks pretty cool. So now that we've got this looking really nice, the next thing we need to do is wire up the guts. So like I said before, since we can't use the bulb that it came with it, we are going to have to do some LEDs in here. So I put LEDs into these sockets before. It's not super terrible, but it can get a little tedious. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. All right, so for wiring this thing, for what I'm going to do, I've got two LEDs, a red and a green one. I also got some 430 ohm resistors to drop the voltage that we're gonna use from our nine volt battery so we don't blow up these LEDs. One for each lamp. And this works actually pretty conveniently because we can actually use this as a wire almost. We can connect it from one end of the button to the other end of the bulb. Makes it really easy. So kind of the plan is we're going to connect our positive of our battery here, bring a wire to the other side right here. So both of these are our positive side. Then we're gonna connect the resistor on this pin to the closest pin of our little socket. So in this case, this one, and then in this case, this one. And then we'll connect the negative end of our battery pack to these two right here. Alright, so I went ahead and put on the positive wire here, connected to the positive end of our battery, put the resistors on the other end of the contact, and now what we need to do is put on our LEDs. So like I said before, since this is our positive side, these are our negatives, so we need to find our negative end of our LED, which is this little flat side here. So what we want to do is bend the LED pins 90 degrees in opposite directions. We want to lay the LED across right here. And just to make things a little bit easier, I'm just going to remove the little nut on both. So we're gonna hold this across here. I'm gonna use this little screwdriver here, use this little flat end here to push down the side of the LED. And then we're just gonna bend the extra around the pin here, around the little screw, kind of like that. And now we have our little LED in the middle here. All right, so both of our LEDs are put in. So then I'm gonna do kind of the same thing with the resistor. I'm just gonna wrap the metal and then put this little nut on top. All right, the last thing we need to do is connect this negative wire to these two pins here and then attach the negative end of the battery pack. All right, the whole thing is wired up. We have a battery on here. Let's give it a test. So you can see the red lights up and the green lights up. So they both work and they work well. So next thing we gotta do is put it back in the box. All right, there we go, the guts are down in the box. It's nice there's some room on the bottom for the battery to sit. And now we put the plate on and look at it now. Oh wow, look at that. That looks really cool. Let's go ahead and put the screws on and look at the finished product. All right, so the button's all put back together. Let's see how it looks. That is really nice. That looks really cool now. Even though it has LEDs in it, it still looks really awesome. We've got those, that nice little piece of, uh, of plastic there, which kind of makes it so you don't just see the bulb down there. And I think that looks pretty awesome. One more thing before uh, we end here, this button was actually donated to the Elevate Tours Elevator Museum from Aaron. So huge thanks to Aaron for donating that to the museum. I hope you like to see what it looks like now, now that it's been restored and wired up, because it looks pretty awesome now. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, leave your guys' ideas for more videos down in the comments below, and we'll see you guys next time.